Episode 273, A Bad Day Only Has 24 Hours. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilson. And it's Wednesday. Welcome to the very best podcast in the world, your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Now, we all know bad days. I think uh, there is not a person in the world, uh, even the most uh, ego, uh, eso terroristic uh, victims of us, that hasn't felt like, uh, oh, shit, why did I get up in the morning in the first place? Right? <laughs> and, uh, I think, you know, it goes to say that uh, bad days just happen. They're a, uh, a thing in life and uh, you can't run away from it. Right. But uh, first of all, I think the most important question is what makes a bad day in the first place? Right. Is it that you slept bad? Is it right? It's, it's about finding the root cause of why your day sucks. And uh, if you're honest with yourself, a lot of times it won't be that, you know, the universe has aligned the stars against you. Uh, it's more like a, um, a prerequisite of uh, things, of circumstances that. Uh, fell into place, you know, bad sleep or, you know, whatever it is at the end of the day that makes you feel like you're having an exceptionally bad day. And uh, I think that's what, uh, that's what I had on numerous occasions. And uh, one of which was rather recently. And those of you uh, who know me a little bit better uh, know of my um, apocalyptic uh, demeanor, uh, or happiness, apocalyptic happiness demeanor. There we go. Uh, normally you can't throw me off track very easily, uh, with things thrown at me. And, uh, that was the reason I wanted to create this episode today to kind of outline, well, you know, if you're having a bad day in the first place, what are the underlying causes and uh, what can you do about it? But, um, nonetheless, and as every day, we got to go through our Housekeeping chores right quick. Uh, number one, item number one is, as always, sharing is caring. So that uh, you, uh, when you share this content, not only are you going to prevent God from killing an innocent little kitten, but uh, you will, more importantly, uh, keep your friends and family and those who follow you from falling victim to the wallet rapists. Who are those that uh, present this uh, or content similar to this, uh, for my understanding, a lot of times worse, um, at a premium price, and uh, then urge you to max out your credit card to pay for the next course until they drive away in their Bentley or Rolls Royce or, for, or Lamborghini or whatever, and you know give you the middle finger for having ripped you off in the first place. Now uh, that we have that covered, item number two is uh, that uh, the views here in are my own and uh, do not reflect those blah blah and employers blah. And item number three, we're still in uh, remodeling reconstruction mode, even though uh, the fall is here. Foliage is turning to beautiful colors and uh, making or giving the impression that this year. Uh, has come to or is coming to an end rather now that we have that covered uh so i in the introduction i briefly went into what can be the uh underlying cause for a bad day you know it can be that you uh didn't sleep right it can be that uh, you know your diet wasn't respected entirely or you went out and you got a little bit drunky bear and uh or, you know, any of the above in any interesting combination. And then the next day, because you are kind of preconceived or whatever the correct English word is, I can't really think of it right now, but you've got this uh, kind of negative mindset to start with, and then something bad happens, right? And then uh, something other bad happens. And well, these things that happen to you, which are presumably bad, uh, are of course shown in a light, uh, which, you know, on any normal day you would just say, uh, you know, whatever. But due to the fact that you've got this, uh, 
preconceived notion of negativity because, you know, you don't feel good or you're tired or you're hungry or, you know, any combination of those and others, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, damn it, you know, this day really sucks. I should have stayed in bed. And uh, unless you have like a very realistic clusterfuck of situations coming at you, uh, there's usually no reason for uh, having yourself believe that you're having a bad day. And here's why, you know, you have to reflect awarely of uh, whether this is actually a bad day or whether this would have happened to you on any other day. Right. And if so, uh, then, you know, look at the circumstances and uh, say, OK, maybe the day isn't bad. Maybe it's just a few things happening that are, uh, you know, that are or perceived as especially bad because you're, you know, under the weather or dehydrated or hungry or tired or whatever. And uh, that's really where it goes to say that bad days really don't exist right? It's about your mindset, how you approach a day. Uh, and uh, if you are uh, in the, um, you know, um, good position in the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, damn it. It's definitely too early in the morning. <laughs> uh, you know, if you are in the preferred position or whatever the word is, uh, where, you know, you can start any day and uh, not really give a damn about what happens, uh, then, um, you know, you're good to go. And that's really what you need to gun for is to analyze, are you actually having a bad day or is it just, you know, that you have underlying circumstances that make the day feel really bad. And, uh, you know, if you are not really capable of weeding those circumstances out and, you know, getting an objective view, uh, then there's one thing left one secret atomic weapon that you can fire which is to uh tell yourself uh and this is the absolute truth hands down a bad day only has 24 hours as any other day so uh if you're going through hell keep going because uh you know at the end of the day it's time for bed sleep over it and uh, waking up in the morning, you're going to have an entirely new day with uh, new opportunities to make the best out of. And uh, that's going to give you um, a new light on situations. Like I said, if you can't manage to psychologically or mindset wise turn a day around to something positive, then at least you're going to be capable of saying, look, you know, there's only so many hours left to the 24 of this clusterfuck. I'm going to go to bed when I get home. And when I get up in the morning, the sun is going to rise once again and give me new opportunities to start that new day with new strength. In that sense, I hope I was able to give you a little bit of motivation tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be back talking about how critics are generally unable to create. And until then, I wish you a good rest of your Wednesday. And for those of you who've already had your Wednesday, have a good night. Leave your hands above the blanket. Stay safe. And see you tomorrow, folks. Peace out.